Hello Hello， 你哋大家好，好高兴又嚟到 C C Channel。咁咧，我哋今日咧就请到啊 Doctor Carlos， 咁咧就去讲关于最近咧黄金签证咧一个好大嘅消息。咁咧想同大家分享一下嘅。咁其实咧我哋之前已经影过呢条片嘅，我哋亦都同大家讲过咧有少少诶问题，就系、是、因为影嘅时候咧就有啲啊。誒技術上嘅問題，咁要再重新影過呢條片，咁呢就希望呢就盡快可以俾大家睇到最新嘅消息。咁誒、呃、當然啦，咁我我話俾大家聽嘅意思嘅嘅消息呢係唔係完全係真係準確啦？所以呢就嚟到訪問 Doctor Carlos 啦。So um we had a very very big important news to do with Golden Visa uh recently that was happened last week um. Uh, it is something to do with from the uh, Prime Minister and Tony Costa. So, shall we uh, discuss this? Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, last week the the government an- announced several rules that the province is going to change, and one of the rules regarding the golden visa is uh, actually they said it's going to shut down the program. We don't know yet what was going to happen. Um, we are on the public discussion for thirty days to see what's going to happen. And this comes on um, uh, some measures that the government wants to take over to solve a problem that we are facing on the Portuguese society. That is, people are looking for houses to rent, and 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 because of that situation, uh, the government announced several measures. One of them is shutting down the program of Golden Visa. Um, it's not been settled yet. We don't know yet what's the conditions. Um, of course, the, fa- the first uh, question that everybody is asking me every day is that will affect my situation. I already start my program, but I don't have the chance to go to get the biometrics, the the first phase of the golden visa. But this is something that we can say for sure and guarantee that all the clients that already start an application they will not be affected at all. So we have、uh, obviously lots of different scenarios.、Uh, a lot of people already asking me to ask your questions.、Um, the 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 client that you were talking about, they're basically waiting for their first card. Yes. Waiting for their biometric. Perhaps they already、uh, filed the documents and paperwork. They already bought the properties. Correct. And they've been waiting patiently. So one thing that is very important to tell everybody. Is that at this moment the program is still working? If I want to start application tomorrow, and I'm saying that tomorrow after tomorrow, and even one two weeks later, we can still proceed with the gold visa program. So nothing has been cancelled so far. So you don't need to worry for the the the, the ones that still on on starting the application for the first time. So the question was asking me that the people already start. These people that already start, they will have the chance to complete the program. There's no rules, there's no laws that will change the people that already start the application, already submit the documents, and already bought the property, and already pay for the first uh, uh, phase of the golden visa. This will not affect at all. The people that already have and they are renewing the cards, the government also said that these people probably will have to keep. The property for their own prop or house living, or they have to put on the market for rent. This is something has been going to discuss in the future. So two things are different. First time, first card, people already submit. They don't need to worry. They will have the chance to complete the program. The second thing is the people already have. They don't need to worry. The only thing is that they talking about is probably they will push everybody. To to put the houses on the market for rent to give the chance of people that are looking for house on the market. This is something is going to be discussed for a long long time. We are talking about one month, but we are not only talking about this month of discussion. After this, they have to approve a law. They have to publish the law. So we are talking about at least maybe two or three months in advance. And it's a, there's a big chance of the government say. We're going to shut down the program by the end of the year. In three months' time, in one year' time, nobody knows. At this moment, there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of discussion, and this also can be possible. Just shut down several channels of golden visa because we have seven types of golden visa. We know that the most popular one is through the acquisition、okay. of property. This is what people are concerned. We don't know yet.、Uh, we are lacking of、uh, residential properties for.、Um, Portuguese people to live in, and the property prices for rent are very expensive. Hence, they are they they want to、um, cancel the golden visa to provide more residential property for 
local people. Uh, the government wants to show that they are doing something for the people. They want to show this, that we are doing some work and we are facing a, a problem, social problem for the people looking for houses. Um, personally, I can say that I don't agree with this condition, with this situation, and I don't think the reason why the government already is, that already changed the program last year, one year ago, uh, limiting the, the golden visa for the, 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 the properties for uh, commercial only purpose. So the people are trying to buy houses, residential properties for making golden visa are not allowed for one year already or more than one year. So it's not make sense. Uh, however, we have to explain our clients. We have to explain everybody that on the, on, on the middle of the process of starting the process, they don't need to be afraid of not getting the completion of the of the program. They will be able to do everything. Uh, of course, as maybe one or two things will happen in the future. And as I said before, pushing to, if you buy a property, put on the market for rent. But most of our clients lately are buying shops, are buying commercial shops. There's no information about it. No. There's no rule about it. Actually, there's no rule about anything so far. And we don't know if they implement any rule or implement any, any condition, when it will be affected when will be started and what kind of uh, uh, situations that, that we have to follow to continue with the golden visa on these types of conditions that they are talking about at this moment that nobody knows for sure what's going to happen. They really did not mention anything about commercial Nothing property. Nothing at this moment. Or why do they have to rent out the commercial property for, to, so that they have a tenant? They didn't this really is say a pack. anything about that. The government announced that. a pack of, of, of things that are going to use to, to try to solve the problem. Uh, the Airbnb situation also is going to be affected a lot. Many will have a lot of investors that in the past used to buy some property to do the Airbnb and the licenses are going, at this moment, are suspended all, all over the, 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 the city, but they are got, not going to release more licenses. They are going to make more difficult for these people. And of course, it will affect in general the, the whole investor, not in, only for the Golden Visa, but all type of investors. And that's a situation that probably after 30 days of discussion, the government will find out that it's not very good for the country to lose uh, so many investors. And the golden visa situation, for as far as I know, it only represents 5% of the transactions for the real estate market. Real estate market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I heard that 10 years ago, um, the overseas buyers occupy like 20%. Now, uh, oh, I think it's 25%. Now it's a lot less, about 15%, but even that 15% of the real estate exchange, there's, most of it is not Golden Visa. There's only, only a fraction of it is Golden Visa. So Golden Visa is um, it's only a proportion. It's, it's a very small number of, of properties that is related to Golden Visa in the market. And I can say that for all the clients I have, I can guarantee that 95% of them, they have the, the, the houses that they bought, they, they are rented. They are renting for, 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 for all the Portuguese citizens, that all the, for, for the society, any people like looking for, for house for rent, most of my clients, at least 95, 96, because we still have people move to Portugal and are living and using their properties as their own apartment or their own house. And, um, but I'm telling you, the, when you buy something, when you buy mm -hmm. a property, of course, you get to get something back and you mm -hmm. put on the market mm -hmm. for rent. It's not make sense. Many people say, uh, be, people that invest in Golden Visa, they don't do nothing with the house. It's, it's not true. It's, it's lying. Uh, all, everybody wants to get some money uh, from rent. They want to get some yield. That's why they call investment. They don't buy a house just to keep it empty. And they put on the market for all the reasons. And all the houses that we have, it's not enough for the Portuguese society, but it's not has nothing to do with the Golden Visa problem. I think that's definitely a shortage of rental properties uh, due to an influx of immigration coming to Portugal. I can tell you that the, the number of residents and the immigrants that in the last 10 years more than double. I can tell you 10 years ago we have about 400,000 people, 450,000 people um, considered immigrants, people that moved to Portugal and now probably we have double. So already almost 900,000 people and the government is preparing to launch a very spe specific and special uh, program to legalize and help immigrants to get a resident card uh, through the work contract. We're not talking about the golden visa because they have specialities, some, some different um, um, qualification, but the government is preparing to, to do this kind of, of program to help everybody to get a resident card. 
ten um, percent almost of the local population. If it's nine hundred thousand, if we're talking about uh, nine hundred thousand, we're talking about almost ten percent of the Portuguese population. You are increasing ten percent. Yeah, of we're your talking about the whole country. Yes, population. that's correct. That's correct. This is making a huge difference in yes, the society. That's, that's correct. So we yeah. can see that this this problem of difficulty of finding a house is not the problem of the golden visas problem is coming also from behind that that is that we increase the number of population especially in the big cities like Lisbon and Porto yeah. and, and Algarve who are facing a problem that Portugal is very uh, attractive for the tourists is very attractive for the investors so are bringing people in and then after that we're complaining that we don't have enough resources to give to them that's the problem that has not been uh, my opinion correct being strategy plans mm -hmm. yeah it's like imagine if you have doctors and nurses you're having to serve 10 percent more yeah in the hospital that's of people correct. coming you know of, of course yeah, that's um, correct. the the social and the cultural has to serve the influx of immigrants we just talked about the people already had the um, they're waiting for the biometric cards, they already bought their properties, and we are saying that it's still safe for you to apply the golden visa by buying a property, but we don't know when. <laughs> no, I don't make any guarantee, you know, this, this yeah, government can yeah. change the rules, uh, but I don't believe that it will be changed in one month's time. It's, my opinion is not make sense at all. Even last time when the government changed the rules were been pending for one year, to know when they start. We have, I remember in December, many people pushing to submit the application because they are afraid. In July, people was pushing to submit the application because they're afraid. And the government give time. Uh, they give some several months ahead to people to submit the applications and, and start the program. At this moment, I understand that the government wants to do something fast, but I don't understand why. And I don't believe that the government will shut down the program just like that. And this is not what they said. I believe that they will give some time. And actually, the news that has been spreading around the world saying that Pro Portugal is shutting down the program, it's exactly what the government said, but they don't mention when and how. So this is very important. And because we are on a public discussion, I don't believe that we'll just, after one month, they just shut down immediately. It's not possible. Even legally, it's not possible. We There's have several of, yeah. steps to, to get this done. There's a lot of conflicted procedures. If you're going to do something so They have to change so the rush, law. They have yeah. to make this very, very fast. And even they do it fast, I still believe we have at least for two or three months ahead. Right, because it takes a, a, a while to change a legislation. No? Yes, correct. You can buy property, you can still feel safe, but you just need to hurry. Uh, I will give this, yeah, well, my opinion will say that we'll give the, the, the confidence to the client, but in order to, to be safe, just hurry up a little bit the situation because we don't know how long, because this process is not something that we just start in one week. We have all the process that we've been explaining in several uh, videos before. We have to get the Portuguese tax number, open a bank account, choose a property, make the final deal. This will take time. So. If, if you, you are planning, you just can start planning immediately and you just can move forward to get the golden visa. I still believe that it's possible uh, in, in two or three months to, to get these things um, done and, and make submit the application by to, to the immigration. So um, the, the, now the, 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 there is a lot of people asking me that uh, if I don't use golden visa, how do I immigrate to Portugal? <laughs> There are several other ways to immigrate to Portugal. Okay, the first concern and the first explanation that I give is especially for the investors. They are a little frustrated. They invest so much money in Portugal to get through this program. And the, my first um, uh, word is for these people that make investment. Of course, we still have a lot of people wants to come to and move to Portugal to live in Portugal. We have other types of visa. Um, now there are several types that are becoming more popular and there's always opportunities for these people to move in. Um, they have different types and concepts for the investors, but um, once that you apply for a resident card, doesn't matter which type of resident card, you always have the same rights uh, after five years of applying for the citizenship as well. Uh, I think this is um, an, another topic we need to discuss in, in another video. Obviously, um, about the renewal of the cards, and you just said like, um, Antonio Costa did mention something about renewal. 
and also you they are looking at renewal yes about, about about three or four weeks ago the because of all the situation after the covid about the problems that people facing uh, waiting for so long time almost two years without the possibility of traveling to portugal finally the immigration allows all the golden visa holders uh, to renew online it means that the application that they have and the the time that they need to spend traveling, coming to Portugal, all that money people spend here, hotels, Airbnbs and, and restaurants and whatever, is, is for the government. They don't look at this situation, but they give the chance for renew automatically online. It means that the people that don't need to travel to Portugal, they don't need to come here. For the ones already have re resident cards and they need to renew, they can renew online. Uh, without any submit any kind of document from from their countries or without traveling to Portugal, and this allows the people to get for more the card for more two years because we make the application online, we receive the card, and the card will be valid for two years. For the future, and according to the information that the government said, everyone that wants to renew the card for the future, if they are going to implement these new rules, they say that. For if you have an apartment, if you have a house, you have to use it for your own house or you have to put on the market for, for rent. It's what yeah. they, they mentioned. Um, I have a question. So just imagine I buy this apartment and I am intended to live there, but I also want to live in my own country six months of the year and then six months I'm living in Portugal. Uh, would that be called self -use? There's a lot of questions at this <laughs> moment. There's a lot of questions more, nobody knows. The, the government already said, for example, if you have a second house, even just imagine you have you are living here and you don't even need to move to your country six months. You have a second house near the beach. You want to use that house yes. only for summertime. Yes. So are you forced to... They say that if it's considered your house for living and uh, you have a second house for spend some time on, on, on the beach on the summer, so you will not be forced to rent it. But because of the situation, when you, you're talking about the government push everybody to put the house on the market. And they also mentioned that if you don't put the house on the market, we can take over your apartment and we rent it for you. This is something that is considered illegal. It's not uh, constitutional uh, allowed by the Portuguese law. And it's something that's going to have a big, big discussion in the future. I believe that the owners and the landlords will put the government in court. According to the law, you cannot have use by force of my property. It's, Private property you cannot use. And some people already been discussing this for a long, long time. And now that the, the, the rules are almost changing and people, uh, the government is planning to change, this debate is going to increase the, the, uh, the, the property values. And, and, and I'm sure that many people will, will fight against this situation. You will have to change the party to do that. <laughs> you have to become a communist as party. I, as, I, as I said before, <laughs> this is only the government trying to show off to the people. They are trying. They are doing some measures or implementing some rules that is not possible. And I believe it will not pass in the in the parliament if they ch they want to change in this kind of situation on this method on this on this condition. I don't think it will be possible. Okay, so summary is we can still feel comfortable right now that you can still apply golden visa. We can use as a holiday home for now. We have all the conditions. As I said, the law has not been changed. We are in a public discussion. I believe there's a lot of discussion coming on. Probably one month will be not enough. Probably the government will give time. Probably they will think and consider that what they plan to do is not really everything legal and they have to change a little bit something of the, the rules that they want to implement. So uh, we, has, we are safe and we still have time to, to do the Golden Visa at this moment. Right, this interview has clarified a lot of questions that we have. Uh, thank you, Dr. Carlos, for coming. And uh, I hope that we have um, answered most of your questions. If you have any more questions, please comment below and we can do a Q&A for you in the later date and answer some of your questions. Give us a like. Um, 麻煩你，希望咧就就幫大家咧就解解答咗好多呢啲難題啦。咁亦都咧希望大家咧就唔好太擔心。咁仍然咧就仲可以申請誒黃金簽證嘅。咁如果你哋最中意我哋嘅台嘅話咧，就俾個 follow， 俾個 like 啦。再見。